morning kindergarten. Today is Tuesday, April 14th, and we're continuing to, on our lessons here together. I hope you're having so much fun. Um, today, Mr. Parham and I are going to be busy shooting a video of things we can do outside to help us with our learning. Um, so make sure you pay extra careful attention for that video. We're gonna be starting today with morning work, um, and we're gonna go ahead and get started with that right now. Today's morning work has us working on nouns as well as our long and short vowel sounds. So we, before we look at our paper, let's go ahead and practice those things again. So let's start with our noun chant. Let's do it two times. A noun, a noun is a person, place, or thing. A noun, a noun is a person, place, or thing. Great job. Now, before we continue, let's do our long and our short vowel sounds for A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, U, and these are our five vowels. Start with A first. A, 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 apple. E, 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 elephant. I, 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 igloo. O, a, a, octopus. U, a, a, umbrella. Great, let's look at morning work together. Today's morning work looks very similar to yesterday's. So you're going to start by identifying what this number is and then you're gonna color that many magnifying glasses, and then you'll do the same with this number and color that many bugs. Our number today is the number nine, so you're gonna trace our letters and then write our word nine. Then looking at this box, you're gonna identify how many tens and ones there are and how many there are in all. And then for this box, you're going to do this 10 frame plus this 10 frame to equal our number, our whole number. So you're gonna look at how many are in this first 10 frame, and you'll write that here, and then you'll do how many are in the second 10 frame, and write that there, and then that will help you to determine what our last final problem is. On the back of your paper today, you're going to color the words that have the same beginning sound. So we have a slipper and a cloud, and slime, and a clock. Then this is a picture of a plant, and this is a picture of someone who is slipping. Then right in this box, you're going to color our word play. Play is spelled P-L-A-Y. So anywhere you see P-L-A-Y, you're gonna color, and then in this box, any short vowel sounds, so anyone that says a, e, i, a, a, you're going to color blue. And our long vowel sounds a, e, i, o, u, you're going to color red. So you have a snake, cheese, bat, frog, light, and a net. Then you have a picture of a zoo. You're gonna decide, is that a person, place, or thing? And then this is a picture of the word vote. So on those lines, you're gonna write the word vote. Don't forget that sneaky E at the end that makes it say it's long O sound. That's your morning work for today. Our math activity today looks exactly like a portion on our morning work that we just worked on. So this should be a nice, easy review for you as well as you're moving forward. So I just wanted to take a quick look at it together with you. So today we're going to be working on this paper together. Uh, and so let's go ahead and look at it together right now. The way they word this paper looks a little different than the way that they do on our morning work. So it can be a little tricky to get us started, which is why I wanted to look through it with you. So today it has you looking at items and counting to see how many there are all together. And then you're going to be writing the tens and ones. So for this first one, let's count and see how many items we have all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. How many 10 frames are full? How many do I have in this 10 frame that's all full? I have 10, right? I have, so I have one 10. So down here it says I have blank 10s. How many 10s did we say I had? One, yeah, I have one. So I'm gonna write a one right there. And then how many ones do I have left over? Let's count those together now. One, two, three, four, five. So I have five extra ones. I have one 10 and five ones. That makes blank in all. How many in all did we say we had? If you don't remember, go ahead and recount right now and see how many we have in all. That's right, we had 15 in all. So on this line, we're gonna write 15. You're gonna do the same for each of these problems, finding how many tens we have and how many ones we have left over and then how many that makes in all. That's your math for today. For phonics today, you're continuing to work on your same sounds. Some of you are working on long I that says I. Others of you are working on short I that says I, I, igloo. And then others of you are working on CH. And when C and H are partnered together, they don't say K, they say CH. So whenever you see that CH, you're gonna remember that it says CH and push that air out of your mouth really fast. CH. That's your phonics for today. For reading today, you are continuing at your new reading level. So again, it might be a little bit challenging for you, but that's okay. Just go ahead and read it three times so you get all of that extra practice. And then you're gonna answer the two questions over here about what you've read. Then on the back today is a brand new activity. And for this activity today, you are going to be coloring any of these pictures that start with our blend CL. And when C and L are partnered together, it says cl, cl. So you can hear the k sound at the beginning, but it quickly blends into the L. Instead of cl, it says cl. It blends together. So we're gonna be looking for words that start with cl. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you what each of these pictures are. I'm gonna go ahead and show you up close though. All right, here are the words today. We have glue, cat, Crown, glow, cloud, slippers, glove, alligator, flower, plane, clover, sled, clock, block, slide, crayon, blindfold, Platypus, flip-flops, blueberry, flower, slug, branch, where did flip-flops? Flamingo, clown, crab, clip, and cupcake. Those are your words today. I know I went through them a little quick, so feel free to rewind as much as you need in order to get each of those words. For writing today, you're continuing to learn about the animal that you picked. So as you read today and work on your writing, don't forget that tomorrow we will be having a Zoom call at 1030 in the morning. And when we meet for that Zoom call, you're gonna tell us one thing that you have learned about your animal. And don't forget, you'll have to tell us what animal you're learning about as well, because we're each learning about different animals today. We'll see you tomorrow for your Zoom call at 1030. Mom and, moms and dads, go ahead and check your email if you haven't already done so. It should be there. If it's not, send me an email, um, and I'll be making sure to send it out today if it hasn't already arrived. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I almost forgot our mystery word for today. Our mystery word for Tuesday, April 14th, is the word map. Map. Make sure you write that on your line for today. Bye.